Hi everyone! Microsoft is in the face of rolling new features in Microsoft or SharePoint lists. You can now drag and drop images in a list. You can add with a few clicks an approval workflow in any list that you want. There is the new ratings column that make easy add this new column to the list. There are general improvements to the performance of the Progress web app and additional features. Let me show you every step in this video how you can take advantage of these new features. Let's go! And here I am in Microsoft Teams. First of all, I will create a new list in order to show you the new capabilities that Microsoft is rolling out. I will use Lists app. Let me hit the button Save and now I will create a new list. I will reuse an existing list just to, for the sake of the demo, to speed up things. So let's hit the button on Work Progress Tracker. I will use this one, Use Template. It's Find a Color as well and let's go forward. All right, now this list is created directly here. I have the ability to enable the out-of-the-box flow due data reminder if I want. I will do it later. So, now I can start to work with the list. Let's add uh, some items inside. I added four elements in this list. The first thing that Microsoft is introducing is performance. It doesn't matter where you are, if you are using uh, Microsoft lists directly in Teams or if you are in SharePoint or if you open Microsoft lists and you work with a list, you have better performance now. You can, of course, deal with a list through the Power, the progressive web app. This is another approach that you can follow. But it really doesn't matter where you are, you have better performance now. It's the, the list is faster, you can edit and you can save time because it's more responsive. The next thing that Microsoft is introducing is an easy way to create filters. So a fantastic and nice way that you have to play and switch across views is tabs. So as you can see here, I have three different views. I have the all items list view, then I have the grouped by priority, and then I have grouped by work. Do you know that you can create another one? Let's create a list view, a normal list view. And here I can say, for example, filtered by status. Let's create a new list. And here we go, I have a new list created. This looks like the all items. Now to customize a bit this, what I need to do is hit this filter icon and now I can filter this so I can see person columns here and choices column. I want to filter this by progress. So I have blocked behind. I want to see, for example, all items in behind in progress and not started. All right. So now it's, it's filtered, I can close this panel and on top of the list, I can see at a very glance that I'm filtering this list for these three elements of my choice column. So now here I have this asterisk, this because the list view is not yet saved. It means that if I switch across views, I, I can potentially lose this setting. In order to avoid that, I will save view as filtered, filtered by, st by status. Let's say that I want to fix now the name and I can click again on save you as and this is by progress. It's not by status. Okay, now I can save and now the name is it's changed. All right, this is, this, this is the second improvement. Let's go ahead with other improvements. Another cool addition is real-time co-authoring in Microsoft Lists as well. So let's say that I want to edit this grid view. I'm now editing here and let me focus on this cell. Now switching 
perspective, I am in another browser instance here. I am connected as Diego Siciliani and I would like to open Microsoft Lists is here. I can see now work progress tracker here listed. What I can do here as Diego Siciliani, but as any other user, I can install Microsoft List as progressive web app. If you miss this step, this is a, a, an easy way to have Microsoft Lists always available on your desktop if you want. And now another uh, page is opening here. I can allow pinning this on my taskbar. It's here, is here available and I can use this progressive web app if, if I want. It is also listed down below. It's pretty easy to reopen Microsoft List if I work very often with lists. Now, going to the point, if I open this list, I would like to show you that now here in, uh, in real time, what I can see is that another user is working on this list. And more specifically, I can see that Giuliano is in, in this cell. So this means that I can select one if I want, and then I can even edit this grid view. And now I am specifically, specifically on uh, one, uh, one cell. So I can uh, change something if I want. So let's, let's say this specific description. And now that I'm here, if I go on the other, on the left side of my screen, I am Giuliano now in Microsoft Teams, I can see that Diego Siciliani is typing on this cell. This is the new co-authoring real-time experience in Microsoft Lists that bring Microsoft Lists and make Microsoft Lists more similar to Excel, for example. Last thing to mention in this, uh, in this addition is the ability to group even if you are editing. So let's say that I will group to for progress. And as you can see, I'm still editing this grid view. I can adjust this view by grouping or filtering and still remaining in this, in this edit mode. It's very, very cool. The next feature is the new rating column. It's now very easy to add a new column as rating. So clicking on add column and scrolling at the very bottom, I have this average rating column. Selecting this one and creating this, now it makes very easy to add this new kind of column. And you know what? You can also turn this column in a like column if you want. Going on column settings, switch to like columns, and now I have heart with the number of likes. So it's pretty easy now to have this new experience embedded in Microsoft List. Let me switch back on the rating column and now it's absolutely easy to set ratings on every item of my list. Another interesting and useful feature is the ability to drag and drop images in a Microsoft List, more specifically drag and drop in an image column. This is now what I'm doing. I'm, doing, I'm going to create a new column image let me hit the button next and let me select the name, thumbnail. All right, I have now this new column added. So, and now what I would like to do is dragging and drop my image in this column. So to do that, I will open Windows Explorer and I'm going to select an image that I already have. Here I have Windows Explorer. I have an image here. I'm going to drag this and to drop. And now my image appear here. So it's pretty easy drag and drop images and populate absolutely in seconds elements in a, in a list. All right, there is a new view in the calendar view that you can uh, set. So going on calendar, and setting up a new calendar view, let me name it. Let me be original calendar view. So selecting calendar, I have now the ability to set different layouts, month, week, work week, and day. So I can select the week now and clicking on create, I will have now a new view per week. So it's easy to switch across 
three different or four different layouts. The next one is pretty popular now is the ability to create specific form for specific lists. I made a dedicated video about this topic. If you want to get more insights, click in the upper right corner or in the description of this video. The last addition and improvement in Microsoft Lists is an incredible way to add an approval workflow to an existing list. So instead of creating a Power Automate flow, you have now an option under Automate, which is Configure Approvals. So clicking here, I can now turn on approvals to any list that I want. So turning on approvals will add the approval status column to the current view. Users will be able to select an item and enter approval details, submit a request and generate a Teams notification to the desired approver. In fact, every request created here will go through the approvals apps in Teams. That's the reason why you are going to get notified. You can disable approvals at any time and hide the column. However, in progress, approvals will still be available in Teams. So let me hit the button apply. And if I move at the very right of my list, I can see now this new column approvals. So I can now submit approval requests for a specific element of my list. Okay, we have seen new capabilities coming in Microsoft Lists. If you enjoyed this video, please consider to subscribe, like, add a comment down below, let me know what is your favorite feature. I hope to see you next time. Bye.